Hello friends. First of all, congratulations to all of you for completing an important module in Python programming that is data types. You have seen various data types, sequential data types, then normal data types. We have completed it logically at one point. Now, another important module that we are going to study in this next set of videos are the operators. They are the data operators. What do you understand by the word operator? Operator refers to some kind of operations that we are performing on variables. What actually variables has? Variables has some values which is given by user or which is randomly generated and which is stored. So, we are going to perform some operations on those variables. If you look at the Python operators, they are classified into following types. Number one, arithmetic operators. Number two, logical operators. Number three, comparison operators. Number four, bitwise operators. Number five, assignment operators. And the last one is identity and membership operators. If you have already solved assignment one, so, you must be familiar of arithmetic operators. If you have not done also, it's fine. So, I am going to teach you in detail about the mathematical operators or the arithmetical operators. Okay. So, as the name itself indicates, the arithmetic operators refers to those operators which are used for some arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, okay, then multiplication, division. And if you put two backslashes, that means it is referring to it is referring to the floor type of division, a single slash referring to floor type of division. I will demonstrate each and everything later. Then you have a percentage symbol. If I write x percentage y, that means I do still division, but instead of giving you quotient as an answer, it will give you the reminder. Then, so if I want to take a power, 2 power something, then I will have to use 2 asterisk marks. So, these are the various arithmetic operators that we are going to see the demonstration. Let's start. What are we studying? Python operators within the arithmetic operators. Let's begin. So, I'm giving, taking two variables, x, I'm making it as 12, y is equal to 4. Okay, let me perform what all the operations that I showed you in the presentation, let me perform all the operators. First, let me perform the arithmetic operator, which is addition, right? How do I do that? I will say sum is equal to x plus y. Okay. Next, I will say diff is equal to x minus y. Then product is equal to x multiplied with y. Then I will say division, which is x, I will put one backslash and y. And the other one is, this is called as floor division. I will write fdv, which is equal to x double slash y. Then when you are calculating modulus or percentage, when I when I want to use, that means it is going to give me reminder. X percentage, sorry. X percentage Y. And similarly, last power. Which is given by X star star. 
now I can print all these values. Print sum, print if, I can type it in single line. I want you to try that. Instead of writing so many print statements, please try out that. Please remember they are case sensitive. Say if I give small div here, it doesn't work. I have to give plan, capital div only. I can give it single statement as well, but I'm assuming like I don't want to st skip any steps, right? So let's perform. You might have already calculated what is the answers for all these things. Just verify whether you're getting same thing to make sure that your understanding is correct. Okay, still it is taking time. Okay, so I've got now sum I've got as 16, then difference I've got as 8, then multiplication 12 into 4, 48, right? In this case, the division and F division, okay? So though you our answer is same, the first one, which I told you as float division, you get the answer in floating point, 3.0. The other one? It is called as floor division. It will give you only the integer part of it. Then, when I use the percentage symbol, which is going to calculate the remainder, right? So, which is 0. And then finally, 12 power of 4. 12 power of 4, which is 20,736 is the answer. So, we completed all the arithmetic operators. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Division may two types. What are they? One is float division, other one is floor division. Okay. Then we're calculating the reminder and then calculating the power. We have done all these operations. I expect you to try out this. And this itself was your uh, assignment one. In case if you have not solved it, please go and solve that assignment. See you in the next video. Thank you.